As a beta tester for Dwarf Lab, I received the latest uh, app that includes uh, the Sky Atlas. Let's see if we can install it. It should be in downloads. Yep, there it is. And installing the app, install. Installation successful, open. Agree. Precise location while using the app. And there is the Atlas. Let's see what it does. Atlas requires downloading a database 111.36 megabytes. Continue download now. It has downloaded. Download success. Let's see what it does. Oh nice, this looks familiar. This is very similar to the Stellarium interface. I like it. Let me see what these options give me. Grid. Okay, on and off. Labels. Okay, on and off. Atmosphere. Yep, on and off. And landscape. Very nice. Let's see what, if we can use it now. Uh, if I select the sun, let's see if it will allow me to, okay, allow me to select Venus, go to, we need to connect the dwarf first, let's do that. Connect, connect. Dwarf Lab access device location while using the app. Find connect. Yes, allow. Searching. It found it. Connecting. Okay. I believe it is. Incorrect password. I have to find. Okay, we have connected. Connection successful. Let's go back to the Atlas. Let's see what photo does. Okay. And uh, where is my Atlas here? Next, next, okay, let's go back to the Atlas, the 
there is a small compass here that allows me to point north. Yeah, this is a very nice interface. I like it. I don't know if I can test much right now during the daytime other than uh, searching for targets. It gives you the elevation of the individual targets. This is good. And I'm assuming if I select the camera, it will uh, send the telescope to it. Or do I have to select it first? All right, there it is. We are during daytime and the uh, scope has not been calibrated, so uh, it may well be the prime reason. Let's see if it will allow me to go to the sun without calibration. There is the sun. Can we go to the sun? No. Ah, it requires a firmware upgrade to get things done. Let's do that. Okay, we're connected to Pompeii Observatory. Download now. Firmer upgraded restart telescope, we can do that. Let me do it cleanly. Reboot. Turning dwarf back on. Home connect. Connection successful. Let's go to Atlas. And uh, 
Let's try to go to the sun one more time. We are at the sun. How about Mercury? Point the lenses to a cloudless sky with dense stars, ensuring there are no obstructions. This concludes this video. Uh, join me tonight so we can test it. Okay.